What's up everybody? Azon Real here for Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 discussion and this is a video that I believe that that uh silently I, I believe a lot of people have been wanting to have a video like this on this particular card. If you don't know what this card is, this is Solemn Morning and this card came back in what April 17th, 2010, uh, if I remember correctly, um, in the booster pack, uh, Duelist Revolution, Duelist Revolution, let me see, hold on, TGC set, yep, Duelist Revolution back in April 17th, 2010, so two years ago this car came out, and it bugs me to no end how this card is, has been out for you know, I uh, like uh, um over two years worth of time, and people are still using this card inappropriately. You know, this all goes back to reading. You know what I'm saying? Like the card effects, or what the card is supposed to do, is right there on the card, and. You know, like this new generation of duelists for some reason. And even a lot of the ones that have been here since the beginning, they still haven't learned how to, you know, uh, uh, like, comprehend what the card is telling them to do. Because it's like, oh, well, if the card doesn't have any rulings to it, that must mean that they can just make up whatever rules they want to when what they're supposed to do with the card is right there in the description itself but they just choose to ignore it you know like this new generation uh like this has to be breastfed for some reason you know and i'm gonna show you guys right now okay so let's take a look at what the card effect what the card is okay it's, it's a counter trap card that means uh, it's a spell speed three um you know um like maybe i'll do another video uh you know uh, just uh um speaking on the different spell speeds and what they do but for now we're just gonna speak on solemn morning this is what the description for the card is when a monster would be summoned or when a spell card trap card or effect monsters effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster or monsters pay 2000 life points negate the, the summon or activation and destroy that card now, what this means that if a monster is normal summoned, you can activate this card and you can negate that um, monster summon and then you can uh, destroy it and send it to the graveyard. Or when a spell card, trap card, or effect monster's effect that ha that activates that has the effect of special summoning a monster. Then you can activate this card in response to that activation. So if a if a card effect that doesn't have the effect of special summoning anything is activated, you cannot chain this in response to that. For example, I've seen people activate this in response to shrink. How the hell can you activate this in response to Shrink? Shrink doesn't have the effect of special summon anything. For example, just yesterday, I was playing on Duel Network, and this kid, you know, like I'm going to assume he's a kid, because he didn't know any better, had activated, uh, like I was using a Photon uh, Cerebus, right? And... My Photon Cerebus was on the field, and I laid down a trap card. It went back to his turn, right? Now, mind you, like before this, he had two cards face down, and he had a monster uh, face up on the field. And when his monster had attacked my Photon Cerebus, um, I had activated a... Uh, Luminize. Now, what Luminize does is it negates the attack and it increases the attacks of 
of, you know, like the light monster that was being attacked by the amount of the monster that was attacking it. And it stays that way until, you know, uh, you're in phase. <clears throat> and, um, you know, he activated Silent One in response to that. And I was telling him that you cannot activate Solemn Warning in response to a card like Luminize because Luminize doesn't have the effect to special summon anything. And of course, you know, he wanted to be right. And then he was bickering, talking about how, oh, it's a trap card. I activated Solemn Warning, so it's negated. I mean, come on. They put six and up on this game for a reason. Or eight and up. Like, I can't remember exactly what the age limit was, but, you know, like, they put age limits on these card games for a reason. Because kids like that should not be playing this if they don't understand or cannot understand when somebody is telling them to read their own card. And understand that you cannot do this because the card doesn't say that you can. And it's like I said earlier in the video, it trips me out to no end how this card has been out for over two years worth of time and people still using it inappropriately. You know, it's a. Uh, It's really mind-boggling. Um, you know, it's it's just a trip. How it's like some cars out there that don't have any rulings on it. I mean, like this one does, but it's some cars out there that don't have any ruling. That it's like just because it doesn't have any ruling, they just make up their own rules. They're like, oh well, since it doesn't have any rulings, then. I can do this, this, and that, this, this, that, and the third, but the card is telling you that you can't just do whatever, you know, and some cards don't even have any rulings because what you're supposed to do is right there on the card. It's common sense, but I digress. So if you ever run into somebody that, you know, tries to use the card inappropriately or can't seem to read just lead them to this video I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a lot of thumbs down from those people but you know it's whatever this is just to educate people on the damn card you know quit using the thing inappropriately it, it doesn't take much to look down in the, at the card description and see what it is you're supposed to do you know and that goes for any card in the game reading comprehension you know it just goes right back to that but uh yeah i'm finna get up out of here and uh i'll see you guys for another Yu Gi Oh 101 discussion video so uh peace and i'll talk to you guys later